In this video, we'll look at whether potassium nitrate, that's KNO3, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that overall, KNO3, this compound, will be an ionic compound. But within the nitrate ion here, we'll have covalent bonds between the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms. So for KNO3, if we look at potassium on the periodic table right here, that's a metal. And then nitrogen and oxygen, those are both nonmetals. When we have a metal and nonmetals, we have an ionic compound almost all the time. So because this is an ionic compound, we really need to think about the charge on each of the ions. So the potassium, that's in group one, that'll have a one plus ionic charge. We'll just write a plus up here. The nitrate ion, this is a polyatomic ion, it's one you should memorize. The whole nitrate ion has a charge of one minus. Put a minus up here. So the positive ion here, the positive potassium ion, and the negative nitrate ion, they are attracted, they're opposites, and that forms the ionic bond between the potassium and the nitrate. Let's talk about the nitrate though. We said nitrogen, that's a nonmetal, and then oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. When we have nonmetals bonding together, we get a covalent bond. This is also called a molecular bond. So while the overall bond between the potassium and the nitrate, that's an ionic bond. The bond between the nitrogen and oxygen atoms in the nitrate ion, that's going to be covalent. But overall, the bond between the potassium and the nitrate, that's ionic. So we consider potassium nitrate, KNO3, to be an ionic compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.